as a home inspector, I get invited to a couple of dozen open houses every week. And most of the open houses have little finger foodies and munchies that come from some local fast food place. It's not really very good. Wouldn't it be wonderful if the real estate agent was also practically a master chef, if there is such a thing, <laughs> and created a dining experience that every open house just drew hundreds of wonderful prospective buyers and we got homes sold fast with great food. I love that idea. I didn't think of it. It came from Melissa Cruz at Watson Realty. How did you initially get your talent and passion for the kitchen, ma'am? Um, well, I grew up in the kitchen with my parents. My sister is a pastry chef, so I kind of learned a lot from her. And when I got into the business, I wanted to put myself into it because I am what people buy into um, when they're looking for a real estate professional to do real estate business. So I thought, you know, let me, I love cooking, I love baking, and I wanted to do that because it was part of who I was and I wanted to share that with people. And it's how I share my love and how I show love. So I thought, you know, so once I started doing that and baking and cooking, even when I do Burkers Opens, I, I make the whole feast for the event and people really love it. I get a really great turnout, great feedback. So it's a lot of fun. So when you're working <laughs> with a home buyer right, and, and you're providing pastries and these wonders as they're shopping for their home, on average, how much weight does a customer gain working with you? Hmm, I don't know if I should admit that. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a few, so you know, I it's a stressful it, <laughs> process. So we need we need some fuel to keep us going. <laughs> some comfort food. I actually yeah. think, Melissa, what happens is is the person working with you says, I, "I'm just going to pick a home fast, or right. I'm going to gain another thirty <laughs> pounds." It's self defense. That's a beautiful yeah. thing. So what is a uh, if, if if there was a super special event, what would you prepare? Um, I like doing the finger foods, and I like to do individualized. That's my um, pinky. Yeah. I eat a lot of finger food. <laughs> I like doing that and getting and preparing them in individual um, pieces um, so that people can feel comfortable grabbing it. We can chit chat. Um, so I like doing that kind of stuff. I do. Um, I've done Hawaiian themed where I've made Hawaiian meatballs, um, Hawaiian cake or muffins or something. And it's it's usually a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so my house is for sale. <coughs> You're going to do an open house in, in my home. You're going to have all this wonderful stuff. Are you going to do this in my kitchen and make a big mess? I won't, um, but I do make them that morning. So when I bring them, it still smells really great in the home before nice. I do the open house. Yeah. So you, you prepare them at your home and then you bring I them do. in. I so. do. I like to make it a big deal. It's, I like to make it fancy so people, you know, people think, you know, are you an actual baker? Did you go to a, you know, a place? And I was like, no, I actually made these and packaged them up really well. You know, I'd like to make it fun. It really resonates with people, not only with food, <coughs> but anything in, in gift giving or in sharing when you do it yourself it's a real demonstration of, of what that relationship is going to be like right. to work with you that they're you're immersed in the relationship and the right. way that you share rather than than uh, chick-fil-a as an example well yeah because i mean the real estate business for me i mean i know for a lot it's it's all about building relationships you know i'm in contact with all of my past customers that i've ever worked with on a continual basis all throughout the year you know handwrite notes or send them treats around the holidays that i make so I think it's it's a really great way to stay in contact with people. I have a question, but maybe it's a suggestion. <clears throat> so you sell me a home, I move into the home, it's a little bit of a chaotic time. Right. What about maybe making me my first meal or an early meal in my new home? Is that something that's negotiable? Or do you Absolutely, do yeah. Okay. Anything I can do to make the process easier. Um, I've had people Say, hey, listen, it's a hot mess in my house right now. Can you, if you want, if, can you order something for me this time? And I'm like, not a problem. And I'll, and I'll send dinner over, get everything all taken care of. So that, that is something. That and, then, and then I will cook it in your home. Prepared, yeah. <laughs> that I will do in your house. I like that. <laughs> so it's just Tanya and I in the house. If you do this for us, can I invite, you know, 10 or 30 friends? Oh, yeah, we can make it an open it? house party. <laughs> yeah, a house welcome to the neighborhood. Not an open house party, but like a housewarming party well, kind of thing. Yeah, house party. I love that. Yeah. I may want to do that. That's fun. And I know other people would like to sit and spend time with you. You're a joy to have conversation with. Right. What's the best way to reach out to you, ma'am? Well, you can find me on pretty much all social media, or you can visit my website at melissacruz.watsonrealtycorp.com. Or you can give me a call. I'm pretty easy to reach. You can find me anywhere, really. So it's at 904 six seven nine two three four zero i've actually discovered you're a bit like me it's not that i'm difficult to reach i'm hard to avoid right <laughs> <laughs> it's fun exactly <laughs> i want to thank melissa for being with us at full disclosure she dropped cookies in my office and if I i'm did. looking a little pudgy <laughs>
That's why. <laughs>